but what kind of mindset is required uh, for people let's say who are uh, first let's say a graduate who has an idea who wants to start as a solopreneur or somebody who who has been uh, let's say working for long time and then uh, he or she wants to decide that he wants to start something so there are two different categories one is a fresher with no industry exposure or anything to the business world and uh, somebody who has been to a corporate as an employee what kind of mind shift is required or mind- mindset elements are involved in that process so let me talk about the employee first yes <laughs> we have spent lot of time in the corporate yes and uh, the first mindset first is the mindset they have to change their mindset they have to change their thinking from an employee to an entrepreneur it takes a lot of time true uh, true as an employee when you decide that i want to become a startup owner or an entrepreneur then that person actually ends up taking 3 years to start tasting success oh and and for some people the time could reduce to 2 years or maybe 1 year and it all depends on how soon they empty their cup yes yes how soon they unlearn what they have learned in their corporate journey absolutely and then start learning and understanding that you know entrepreneurship is completely different than becoming an employee yes 100% shift has to be required now when we talk about employee and entrepreneurship now as an employee the number one thing that as an employee thinks that okay i am a good performer i am i am doing really well in my corporate yes let's say i don't perform for the next 7 days i will still get my paychecks yes right so people get into that comfort zone and with that mindset when an employee starts a business nothing happens nothing moves now he is what is happening actually i have been spending time for one month two months three months and i am not getting results actually the person is not spending time on the right things he is still having that employee mindset that paycheck mindset that something will happen something is going to change but what is required is i need to change as an owner as a business owner i agree i need to change so that is the first shift which is the mindset change now coming to the second point as an employee we are more thinkers we like to think a lot saying that you know let me figure out let me do it let me plan it out the best way let me become an expert because there is a reason behind that and that reason is they go through in a puzzle process yes right performance matters a lot <laughs> yes they are taught not to make mistakes true right? and same thing they start applying here they continue to think and think and think and not do anything not take the right actions which are required now that is the second challenge which an employee would face when he becomes an entrepreneur correct so as an entrepreneur you have to completely shift you yes. have to taking action moving every single day is more important you know than being perfect so i say perfection is a disease yes it's a disease and the more you try to be perfect the more you delay your success agree so you become perfect by doing it again and again and again and that is how we have been learning all through our life true true so by doing it again and again now the third very important element between an employee and an entrepreneur an entrepreneur needs to take the action needs to be with the customer yes now whether we call it as a solopreneur or an entrepreneur who has a small team they tend to spend the most of their time with their team with their employees yes rather than spending time with their customers now, once you have become an entrepreneur you have to wear the hat of becoming customer facing role correct now there is a big understanding gap which a startup owner has saying that okay i am a founder i can hire a sales person and he will do the selling for me i say no every ceo every entrepreneur every business owner every founder is the first sales person in your company absolutely absolutely you have to go and start selling unless you sell you will not understand what challenges you will go through whether you are ready whether it will be accepted in the market or not yes and then then only you will be able to build your team you will be able to guide your team so this is this is the major challenges which most of the people face and if they face this these these three things they can definitely you know accelerate the success and reduce the time of success at least by 1 to 1 and a half years true 